this week. Steve West and his clients continue their Arctic quest for muskox, braving the cold, frigid weather on Victoria Island in the Northwest Territories of Canada. This week on Steve's Outdoor Adventures. Adventures is sponsored by Burris Optics and the Eliminator Laser Scope, Stormcloth 2, Performance Outerwear, Corbon DPX Ammunition, Kershaw Knives, the new Bresser 360 Trail Camera, Steiner Binoculars, Outdoor Trail Freeze Dried Foods, Montana Decoy Company, CVA Muzzle Loaders, and UDAP Bear Pepper Spray. Last week, Steve's Outdoor Adventures clients, Don Menor, Matt Hayes, Sean Van Gerpen, Jason Hove, all took nice bull muskox. And now, the only hunters left in camp with unfilled tags are Robert Snyder and Steve West. Well, last week we featured four of my good friends and clients all taking big bull muskox on the frozen tundra. Just one client remains, and then it's my turn to get behind the gun and start hunting. But before we can go into the field, Mother Nature gives us a little setback in the form of a storm that weathers us in for an entire day. As the sun set on a great day of hunting that netted the hunters four big bulls, no one could have known a late spring storm was blowing in. With high winds driving temperatures well below zero. As time ran out on the day, the Inuit guides rushed to make an igloo and erect their canvas tents before darkness engulfed the tundra. You're coming out on this particular hunt, you know, it reminds me of exactly what I like to tell my clients. You know, when they call and book these trips, they ask, you know, what's it like to go up there and shoot a muskox? I tell them, you know, if you just want to go shoot a muskox or two, great, you know. We can take you out there, shoot some muskox. There's thousands of them here on this island. But the bottom line is, is that I like to advise everybody to come up here and book this hunt because it's a true Arctic adventure. I mean, think about it. This week we've rode hundreds of miles across frozen tundra, pulled in Comatex sleds behind snowmobiles. Of course, generations ago, we, did, we would have done it on dog sled teams only, uh, like the polar bear hunters have to today by law. And we've built ice houses, this beautiful igloo. Um, you know, just an amazing piece of craftsmanship that's been passed down through generation after generation of Inuit. And, uh, you know, we've ate Arctic char that was caught out from underneath the ice. We've hunted musk ox, tracked out wolves, chased polar bear tracks out a little ways. I mean, we've just had an awesome, true Arctic hunting adventure. We got to experience things the way they do them all the way up here in the high Arctic. And that's why I keep coming up here year after year because I enjoy experiencing the Inuit way of life and hunting with another culture because I really feel like it makes me a better, more well-rounded hunter. Closed captioning sponsored by Kershaw, the official knife sponsor of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. On the fourth and final morning of the hunt, the weather broke. With low winds and clear skies, conditions were perfect for hunting, and the expedition set out to hunt their way back to town. There's eight big bulls just over the sill here. We're gonna make a stock. We've got the wind in our favor. So far, we've made the approach undetected. I'm gonna bring my rifle just in case there's two big bulls. If the situation's right, I might take a shot. If not, I'll just keep hunting because there's no shortage of muskox out here on Victoria Island. When we come back from commercial break, Robert Snyder and Steve West chase a world-class muskox in the rocky tundra of Victoria Island. This segment of Steve's Outdoor Adventures was sponsored by Burris and the new Eliminator Laser Scope. 
Trophy opportunities often last only for a matter of seconds. The new Eliminator Laser Scope has a rangefinder built right in so you don't lose time between ranging and aiming. And the Eliminator saves even more time with its automatic bullet drop compensation. The Eliminator is easily calibrated to whatever, and I mean whatever cartridge you want to use. Burris' new Eliminator Rifle Scope. Just range them and eliminate them. I trust only Corbon, so ask for DPX ammunition at your local sporting goods retailer or check them out on the web at Corbon.com. At a price point every hunter can afford, Stormcloth is the best value on the market today. Quiet, waterproof material, sealed seams in critical areas, popular camouflage patterns, vented armpits, extended tail. At a price point every hunter can afford, Stormcloth is the best value on the market today. So ask for Stormcloth at your local sporting goods retailer and visit their website to learn how you can win an all expenses paid elk hunt with me to be filmed for television. Steiner presents the new Predator Extreme Series of Binoculars. These new lightweight, roof prism, German engineered binoculars feature the dynamic coating technology, which increases the color contrast between browns and greens, making deer and elk stand out while maintaining superior low light performance. Finally, high quality German optics at an affordable price for American hunters. Ask for them at your local sporting goods store or check them out on the web at steinerbinoculars.com. This segment of Steve's Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Stormcloth 2. Robert Snyder was my last remaining client to tag a musk ox on film, and it didn't take long to spot a bachelor herd of bulls. A stock was planned, but it quickly turned into a chase. Okay. There's a couple of big bulls in this bunch. If it's perfect, we'll pick out a big one for Bob. If there's the right opportunity, I'll go ahead and shoot a second one uh, right after he gets his first one. But he, he's our priority right now is to get the first big bull down. And there's a big one on the far right. A big one on the far right. All right, go right out, Bob. And I'll suck in right behind With a lot of mature bulls in the group, Steve and guide Robert Kaptana looked them over very carefully before choosing the biggest one in the herd.
might be close to nine inches across the top right here. Super heavy, beautiful black tips. This is what it's all about right here. This, this bull might go book. I'm not talking Spark Club, I'm talking Boone and Crockett. This one might be a BNC record book trophy right here. He's huge. This is awesome, man. Hey, put it there, man. No quit. And let me tell you something. We've been on these things for over two kilometers on foot in the snow. Probably about 20, 25 below zero with wind chill out here today. We walked this one down. What it's all about right here. Victoria Island muskox are the Northwest Territories. We spotted them over two kilometers back, put a long stock on them, came into one drainage, we busted them, they went over the top. We jumped them again, they came over. We didn't quit on them, we stayed on them, kept following them out. It's about between 20 and 25 below zero out here with wind chill today. Bright and sunny and they could see us coming for miles. We finally got the drop on them. When they moved up in these rocks, it gave us some, some cover to kind of move in. We laid down, I ranged the rock in front of him at just over 225 yards. He put the 338 Ultra Mag 250 grain GPX right through the shoulders and dropped him. Just the way you want it to be done. Bob, congratulations, bud. Thanks a lot. You know, this is one of the most awesome hunts you could ever want to do. You want the entire Inuit hunting experience. And I'll tell you what, Absolutely a perfect day, great weather, good visibility, and a monster bull musk ox right here on the ground. Bob's been a great client for a long time. Now I was really glad that he took such a big bull, but now it's my turn. And I quickly grabbed my muzzleloader and took off after the rest of the herd that had scattered all along the rocky ridge top. There's musk ox all down this ridge. We've been working them back and forth. They're down below us here. There's some fresh tracks down here in the snow coming around. What we're hoping is that they're going to work their way up on this rocky top where they eat the lichen for tonight, but there's just so many of them out here. Here comes some right now. They're coming up the top. Come back from commercial break. Steve tries to close the deal with his CVA muzzle loader on a Big Island muskox. This segment of Steve's Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Corbon Ammunition. Watching Steve's Outdoor Adventures, seen exclusively on the Outdoor Channel. This segment of Steve's Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Steiner and the new Predator Extreme Binoculars. Steve's gun is the CVA Acura topped with a Burris Eliminator laser scope and loaded with 150 grains of IMR white hot powder and 250 grain power belt aerolite bullets. One of the guides had actually bumped into this group of bulls and they were coming right up the face of the ridge, right at us. I didn't have a lot of time to set up before the bulls appeared at under 50 yards. Good. Muzzle loader, baby. CVA, right in the chops. Yeah, that's what it's all about right there. He was so close, I didn't get a chance to range him and eliminate him. Yeah. Oh. I've wanted to take a musk ox with a muzzle loader for a long time. This made it happen. Let's go take a look.
muzzleloader. He's awesome. That's a big bull. We got him to look at him. I don't know why up. I just don't know if I can. Oh. Holy moly. That's a big bull, y'all. That's a big bull. There's a lot of muskox out here today. We've been cruising and looking at them, chasing them, looking for more. Finally caught up with a group of muskox that were working their way up this ridge. We jumped up on top, came through the rocks. I thought I was gonna have to make a two or 300 yard shot using the Eliminator laser scope on my muzzleloader, but that just wasn't in the cards today because these bulls came up right in front of us. It was nearly a point blank shot. They saw us and stopped, formed a line. I just looked him over in the scope real quick, picked out the biggest one. Turns out he's an awesome bull. Just, I can't say enough great things about our Inuit guides and the hunting here on Victoria Island in the Northwest Territories. I've still got a muskox tag left in my pocket, so we're gonna get back out there. I'm looking forward to taking one more bull before the end of this hunt. This segment of Steve's Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by the new Bresser 360 Trail Camera. Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Burris Optics and the Eliminator Laser Scope, Stormcloth 2 Performance Outerwear. Corbon DPX Ammunition, Kershaw Knives, the new Bresser 360 Trail Camera, Steiner Binoculars, Outdoor Trail Freeze Dried Foods, Montana Decoy Company, CBA Muzzle Loaders, and UDAP Bear Pepper Spray. To book this hunt or get information on other big game hunting and fishing adventures, contact Steve's Outdoor Adventures. While we were taking pictures, we spotted another herd of muskox in the distance. Two of the guides took my cameraman and I across the valley to where we could move in for a closer look. We just hiked over into this valley. It's full of fresh sign. You can see here where the muskox have been pawing at the snow so they can get down to the grass and lichen below. A whole bunch of fresh droppings. They're all over out here. This is the best sign. Hold on. They're right up here. They're on top of this bluff. We've got the wind in our favor. If we're not moving, they probably aren't going to see us even out in the white snow. I don't think they've got the best eyesight. As soon as they feed over that top, we're going to be on them. We're going to race up to the top of that hill in the spa, and I'll bet you we get our shot. Once I had climbed up on the ridge top and gotten into position, I was glad to have the power and range of the 300 Winchester Magnum. The shot was going to be a long one, and the Eliminator laser scope was going to make all the difference. Yeah. Oh, look at that one far left. That one far left is good. See him facing us, the furthest one to the left? He's pretty good. Yeah, that's the one we want, fourth from the left.
be able to stop for me. But uh, just wait till he stops. He'll stop when he gets there. Okay. Ready? Three hundred sixty seven yards. Ready? Smoky. Down you go, baby. Down you go. Yeah. That's what it's all about right there. 367 yards. First eliminated laser scope. Just ranging and living them, baby. Winchester Magnum, 180 grade Corbon DPX right in the center, rope them and drop them. That's what I like. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. We spotted these muskox from a great distance, moved over into their valley, found their sign, looked up, spotted them on the ridge top, feeding down into the next valley, crawled up to the top after they fed over, and they were all laid out in front of us. I had a pick of any one of them, but they were a little ways out. They were from, say, 375 to 400 yards. I looked each and every one of them over, and I picked this one out, and just, I really felt like he was the best one in the bunch, and I was right. This is an awesome bull. Arranged him with the best eliminated laser scope at just under 400 yards, and sent the Corvon DPX on its way, and it did the job. This is an awesome trophy. At the end of four days, we'd put over 325 kilometers on the snowmobiles. Endured a horrible spring storm, built an igloo, took seven muskox bulls on film, and had a world-class Arctic adventure with our Inuit friends from the north. And remember that if you'd like to book a muskox adventure for yourself or any other big game hunt, please email or give me a call. I will personally schedule your hunt and help you take care of all the details. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this week's show. But please join us again next week for another exciting episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. The Arctic had provided Steve and his clients a week full of challenges, spectacular hunting, and adventure. With an estimated 30,000 muskox in population on the island, it's sure to provide many more memories for Steve's Outdoor Adventures clients for years to come.